Younger fans, you're in the right place. I'm Taylor Strecker here to bring you an inside look at each week's new episode of Younger. It's your Get a Younger After Show. Joining me tonight to dive a little deeper are the stars behind Younger's newest it couple, Miriam Shore and Chris Tardio. <laughs> hey, you two lovebirds. Hello. Hi. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> and to all the fans watching, we want you to get in on the action while you watch. So tell us your thoughts on tonight's episode in the comment section. Okay, so this episode, it was all about you guys getting engaged. Mm -hmm. uh, let's talk about uh, that scene. But before we do, let's take a look. Diana, come. Ma. Yeah. See, the lighting is much better for you is it? here. <laughs> Everyone, squeeze. All right, well, there's a bush here. Squeeze, <laughs> squeeze. Hold on a minute. Are you okay? <laughs> I'm fine. I'm fine. Dolce, but I'm fine. I'm, you know, I'm just. I'm gonna go home. No, no. Come with me. She's gonna be next to me. Enzo, stop. It's Enzo. These pictures uh, are gonna stay in the family forever. And so I hope will Diana. Oh, Maron. Diana, will you marry me? <laughs> Is there a, a ring involved? I'm being spontaneous here. <laughs> oh, what's the rush? Let her think about it. She can take all the time she needs. made me cry a lot this season, Aww. actually. Wow. So thank you for testing my waterproof mascara. Yeah. How did you both react when you found out that this storyline was happening? That, that we were gonna get engaged? Yeah. People love you on the show so much. They so love much. Enzo so much. Thank and you. They love Enzo and Diana together. together. And it's funny, I think if, if before, if you had just told me the storyline before I met Chris and before I saw how Chris plays Enzo, I might have been like, I don't know if Diana needs a man in her life. You know, which is you know how I felt. It's exactly what she needs. And <laughs> and, the, and no, but and but the way that you play Enzo and what you bring to it and what you bring to Diana as a foil and for her to like understand her own vulnerability, I think is great. And so I was like, oh no, he needs to be in her life. Well, like you just said, everyone loves you guys together, like obsessed. Why do you think the dynamic is so popular with the audience? Because they're so different. He's like the last guy you would imagine Diana would be with. Yeah. But I think they bring things out in each other. You know, sure. like he's it has a level of sophistication that is surprising, mm -hmm. you know? That, you know, you that Diana kind of judges him before she really knows him, and then he surprises her, and then he allows her to surprise <laughs> herself. You know what I mean? Chris, why do you think... Diana needs Enzo so badly. <laughs> because Enzo's grounded, like he's really down to earth. Yep. Yeah, and she could be a little, huh? you What's know. What's that? What do you... <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, yeah, I want to hear this. <laughs> yeah, no, I mean, it, it works well. It, it yeah. just, it works well. Yeah, I do also think it's a testament to, to you and how good you are. Well, thank you. Yeah. She's great. I mean, that's, that's, uh, it makes my job really easy. All kidding aside, it's like, Aww. yeah. I See, mean, really, loving this one. I'm IRL, like, he's super sweet. Too. I mean, OMG, I'm <laughs> compelling. <laughs> um, Chris, you started with one hot plumber scene, and now you're a regular fixture on the show. Pun intended, by the way. Uh, <laughs> how's it been for you? A cream fixture. From yeah. going to a guest star to being around so much more on the show. Uh, it's been great. I mean, in, in all honesty, everyone was so warm and welcoming. It was like, you know, it's great. It's it's a great environment to be in, and it's not always that way. So with this this cast, this show, everyone, it's it really feels like a family. I hate to be cliche, but that's the truth. Yeah, I know. it's fun. You were just so great in the first scene, in the, the first time we saw you. I think like everyone was like, that guy's great. That actor, he's you know, I you're was beautiful. Nervous. You're beautiful and all that. That's pretty. <laughs> but um, uh, but beyond that, like it was just like the, yeah, there was chemistry. It was really fun. Well, and also you guys have worked with um, Darren Starr before, each of you, yes. right? 
Yes. I am a fan of Sex and the City, my friends. Uh, episode 304, not too what? creepy. I remember. Wow. <laughs> I know. And then you on I, GCB. Yes, GCB. Yeah, 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 yes exactly. Yeah. So what is it like working with the amazing Darren Starr? I would do anything he asked. Yep. I mean, I, I just think I've had the opportunity to play such great characters, both on GCB and on this, be, because of him. And so I, I trust him, and I, I'm unbelievably grateful to him for letting, giving me that opportunity, and also for giving me the opportunity to direct, yes. which is something else. He just, he's just interested in, in, you know, women's stories who are not 20, yep. which was sort of <laughs> novel in my life, and interested in New York, which was amazing, you know. I just think he's also a wonderful person. So I, I, I've had a dream working with him. So if he was like, would you? Yes. <laughs> That's my answer. Yeah. Um, also, Chris, do you know about plumbing in real life? I do. You do? That's a loaded question, right? I know it is. <laughs> <laughs> I do. I come from a family of plumbers. Amazing. Yeah. Isn't that crazy? And funny enough, when I got the audition for the first episode, I was actually doing side work with my brother as a plumber. And I no said, way. if I don't get this job, I quit. That's it, I'm done. And well, here I am. I'm glad you didn't quit. Yeah. <laughs> I know, us too. Thank yeah. God. Yeah. yeah. So let's get even deeper to the episode. Oh Diana and Enzo come from such different worlds. Mm -hmm. Have either of you been in relationships with somebody whose background is totally different than yours? And how did it work out? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I don't know. I feel like everyone's background is totally different because whose background is exactly the same. That's you know? fair. I mean, my background is very interesting and different, and I don't know that there are anyone who does have the same background, so. Like Meghan yeah. Markle and Prince Harry. Like that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, yeah. So as, as a royal, as a member of the royal family, yes, it is. Um, well, at least in, in that scene, I certainly look like a member of the royal family. <laughs> yes, you do with the fascinator. That's what those hats are called. <laughs> um, uh, I don't know that I've really dated people. I guess I, I don't think about that. My point is like, I want someone to be as interesting and as different as possible. So I guess I don't really think about that. I dated somebody whose family called themselves the pillars of the community. Oh, okay, that, that would be didn't weird. work out well. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah, maybe I just wouldn't even bother to date someone. I, I don't know if I would just be like, next. Yeah, right? Like, Chris? I've challenged myself and dated people that were very different. <laughs> Um, I've challenged myself. Or just, Did know, they know that that was how you thought of it? <laughs> <laughs> well, no, what I mean I'm gonna is, challenge myself you know, with you, you. You have a type, right? Or at least you think you have a type, but you really don't. And I tried to expand that idea of what my type was, and I've gone to very different things. And, and uh, it's, it's all interesting. It's all learning experience. It's all growing. I hope they had the same experience, but I'm single, so oh, that's the story. That. <laughs> you heard that. You heard, girl. Yeah. Lining up around the block. Uh-huh. <laughs> Everybody wants to know, do you guys have a favorite Diana and Enzo moment together? And it's regardless of seasons. I am. I, I actually feel like any time Enzo brings out the vulnerability in Diana, those are like my favorite moments to act, to play. I'm excited about that. I mean, the, the, scene, the episode two scene where you come with the newspaper. That was going to be my favorite. Yeah, yeah. I really like that. I, yeah, I think that so moment too. where, I think that's the moment they really commit to each other. And then this is the moment where he's like, well, let's fully commit, you know? Yeah. I mean, I he's, agree. He, he allows Diana the space to say yes to something that I think normally she would say no to. I like when you guys were covered in crap. <laughs> <laughs> you like when, we, were, you when, we, when, when we shared a poop covered kiss? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That was romantic. so romantic. It, was it really was. Sweet. Oh, man. Also, Enzo proposes uh, in front of his entire family even in front of his mother. Um, uh -huh. Do you think uh, these public proposals are like an important thing or should they be more intimate? This is like a big thing now. It's very uh, viral when people have these big proposals. But what do you think, in your personal opinion? Should it be private or in front of an audience? Private. <laughs> private. <laughs> yeah, it yep. feels, but you know, I don't think this was that actually. I mean, he does, it is in front of his entire yes. family. But I don't think it was viral. I don't think it was, Look at the whole, I want the whole world to see. I right. think this moment is about him saying, no, 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 it's important to me that you understand that you, I choose you. Yeah, especially because my sister sort of. Earlier. Oh, know, yeah. Sticks it in a little yep. prior to this moment. So yeah. I kind of feel like that sort of, I, I mean, I knew I was going to do it, right? But I think that maybe influenced it a little. Yeah. So that's why it came out in front of anyone, everyone as it did. And then 
My brother knocked her into the bush. I mean, come on. <laughs> my sister's telling her that, you know, I was going to be with this other girl, so I... And your mom is yeah. like, ah, eh, we don't want her in the picture. In the picture, because these pictures are going to be around for... Yep, exactly. Yeah, and I felt like also because, <laughs> you know, Diane is ready to leave that I kind of had to, you know, plant the flag and do it. No, you're going to stay and I'm going to do this and Ma, get out of here and all that. Ma, get out of here. It was spontaneous, but you're saying that in your mind playing Enzo, it's like you were going to do this anyway. It was just a matter of when. And you said it, now's the time. I would imagine, like she said, uh, the moment at the door, right, where we really committed to each other. So mm -hmm. then it starts going around in the head and, you know, I don't know exactly when, but then this moment obviously seemed ideal, so. And I actually think for Diana, that's, that isn't her thought, is probably that we'll be together, but marriage is just not, and she says marriage is not in the cards for us, you know, mm -hmm. at one point, but, and, and, and that's the thing about Enzo is that he, she finds herself saying yes in a situation where she thought she would say no, you know? Because that's true it's love. Enzo. And that's, and that's <laughs> true love, ladies and gentlemen. Um, before the proposal, Enzo's family is not uh, the warmest to no. Diana. So in real life, how important is it for your family to like your significant other? Very important, I feel like. Like everything? It, it, yeah, because you're saying this person well, I know for me, like I'm married, and what marriage was to me was you aren't saying to everyone, you are my family now. Mm -hmm. And I mean, it was literal because I was also pregnant when I was getting married, <laughs> so I was like, we are a family. <laughs> um, and seven months pregnant and wearing white. Oh, yes, queen. Hell, yeah. Get in. And I wasn't sure I was going to get married. I thought maybe we'd just have a baby and live together forever, but it was that. It was that saying to him that you're my family. That's what, that's what marriage means to me. So. If I'm gonna say you're my family, it's important that the rest of my family feel it too. And I mean, mm -hmm. I'm lucky because we all love each other. So it's great. That is, it's the best. I would imagine it would be really, really tough. Yeah, to, I to... may or may not have experienced that. Oh, gosh, <laughs> it's okay though, it's okay, <laughs> oh. it's okay. So yeah, I mean, it's a, I, as a mom, I would hope that someday <clears throat> if my children say to me, this is the person I love, no matter who they are, mm -hmm. I would try to be supportive, you know? Yep. And what do you think, Chris, about Enzo's mom, the way she is towards Diana? It's brutal. Yeah, it's, it's terrible. Yeah. Actually. Yeah. No, in real life, I think that would be very difficult. Yeah. 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 It's so to... important for, you know, especially if you're close with your family. You know? Totally. Yeah. yeah. Especially if you're living with your mom. Yeah. Or were. That yeah. was last season, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that would be a really tough situation because it is your mother. Yeah. <laughs> so what do you... I think you do what you did. You're like, mom, shh. Be quiet. Yeah. Is that I simple, right? You can handle this. Yeah. <laughs> and also in this episode, Liza finds Charles' unfinished manuscript about his own affair with an older woman when he was in his 20s. He was basically the Josh, which is like, yeah, great right? explosion. Have you ever dated somebody significantly older or younger than you? No. no. You just always stick to your peers? Yeah, I'm trying to think if I've ever dated anyone. I know I've never dated anyone significantly older than me. I'm trying to think if I ever dated. Now I'm so old that I can't remember. <laughs> does that help? Yes, it does. Maybe not. No, I, I don't think so. And what do you mean by dated? <laughs> oh, well, what do you mean, what do I mean? I now that you open question. that door. You know what I'm saying? Uh -huh. I have to be like an official date. Because <laughs> I was talking about something else that might happen. <laughs> Can you give me a little more of that? I might have, you know, <laughs> met someone and not really questioned how old they were in the moment. And it was just a moment. And you had your moment. And then maybe you found out they were... Well, younger than you <laughs> thought. Legal. 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 We want to be clear. Not saying gross. <laughs> right. Not like, oh, you can be my child. It's kind of younger, <laughs> but like, you know, a little younger. And then you're like, oh, sorry. <laughs> What's that age? Because huh? I'm old and I can't hear you. <laughs> um, okay, that, okay that, that might happen. Yes. Okay, yeah, that's a yes, Chris. Uh, if, if that counts as dating, then yes. <laughs> that counts. I've, yes, the women that I've been in relationships with have been older. Older? Not by much, like three, four years, something like that. I like wow. that. Yeah. Is there any reason why? Um, maybe I'm just more mature. No, I, honestly, <laughs> I, I really don't know. No, I, no, I can't no be that. Because <laughs> my, my motive going in was terribly shallow, so. No, I don't think there's Ooh, do <laughs> tell more. Just, just, you know. Just attraction. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Um, well, Love speaking of this woman who's older with a younger guy, do you think that there are total double standards in society when it comes to women with younger guys versus older guys with younger women? I have opinions. Okay. 100% yes, right? there's a double standard. Let right. me just point out, let me just say that 
recently, very recently, I was asked if I wanted to audition to play the part of uh, the love interest for a 72-year-old man. <laughs> In a, movie. Hmm. in a movie. Hmm. Have you ever been asked to be the love interest of a 72-year-old woman where it is not a plot point that you are the younger love interest? It was just two people in love. No. So there you go. And scene. That answers that question. Mm -hmm. Asked and answered. Yeah. It's so, we have, we have a wee, wee bit of a problem. Mm-hmm. Yeah. How are we going to fix that? I said, when I was asked this, I said, is it a plot point? Is it important that she be his daughter's age, uh -huh. and they said, no, it's just two adults who are having an advance. <laughs> and I was like, uh, are, you, I said, are you also having women in their 50s, 60s, and 70s auditioning for the role? And they were like, um, next question, please. Oh. And so I said, hell no. That's how you fix it. Glonk. I said, hell no. <laughs> I love that. Come on. It's not that I don't think a 72-year-old man could be attractive. That isn't the issue. No. It's just the story we're telling. Exactly. Yeah. It's game time. Yes! Yes, okay. So the game is called Tell Me Your Last, okay? So hopefully now that they're engaged, Enzo's mom has snubbed Diana for the last time. Or maybe not. <laughs> uh, we're gonna <laughs> to celebrate this new beginning by asking you both about the last time you did random things. I'm gonna throw out a topic and just tell us your last whatevs. Okay. okay. Your last Google search. I'll oh, tell you, because it was right before I came here and it was, it was so, half full of pocket. <gasps> Oh my. And, I, and if you notice, it's not in my pocket. Let me tell you who knows. So. <laughs> Peter Herman. Definitely. Yes. That man is, the, he's a the king pocket of the pocket square. ninja. <laughs> um, uh, I think I Googled myself. No. Please, no. Can we <laughs> say Come on, uh, people. Uh, I wouldn't do that. I Google directions all the time. So right. I was like, where's that? Oh, 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 uh, it, it was a um, uh, uh, restaurant. I will Google food. Right. Just sitting there. I'll just be like, what's the best pizza in the area? I'm not even going out to eat. I just want to know. That's for sure what I do. Okay, As well. As entertainment. Weirdly, tell me your last food delivery order. Oh, yeah. What did I just order? Oh, Thai food. Ooh. Yeah, yeah Thai food. Good. Chris? I don't order. I cook my own meals. For real? Yeah. You never get tired and you just, like, want to Postmate something? I'm always tired, but I cook anyway. <laughs> <laughs> okay, oh, let me yeah. just, I'm going to sum, sum it up. Single, likes older women, and likes to cook. <laughs> Hello? So like, oh, I'm sorry, do you hear the stampede? <laughs> it's coming, like, it's like Where are they? There's nothing. People. If I wasn't a late in life lesbian, you'd be in trouble, <laughs> my friend. <laughs> okay. Uh, tell me your last Amazon order. <laughs> <laughs> you want it? I'm scared now. Tampons. Okay, hey, why go to the drugstore when he can you know just what? have them delivered? This is my thought process. I was like, I gotta get tampons, ladies. Am I right? And then I was like, I gotta walk to the drugs. No, I don't. <laughs> 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 that time of the month. It's handled. the best. It was a gift card. For, for, for tampons? For my sister-in-law. <laughs> for Miriam. <laughs> You're thoughtful. <laughs> You're thoughtful. You know, You're angry and a little bit do it. PMS. <laughs> Um, what was the last thing you cooked? Salmon. Ooh. With dill. Ooh. And turmeric. Ooh. Miriam. <laughs> Easy Mac. <laughs> I cooked this. I cooked salmon. <laughs> bit of dill. I turmeric. Which is, I think, a spice. <laughs> but I did. I made that. I made it with salmon. I believe you. Totally. Last um, thing, I, you know what, I'm not going to let listen, you answer. I made cereal, and it was delicious. <laughs> you made cereal. <laughs> what was the uh, last, or who was the last person you texted? Uh, my husband. Oh. Uh. My cousin. <laughs> NHL playoffs, right from here. Oh. To the bar. Is he in the NHL? No. Oh. <laughs> I, but I get it. It's important. Emoji you used. Um. Thumbs up? Uh, oh, I use the th I overuse the thumbs really? up emoji. I'm like, thumbs up! And there's I, no reason to thumbs up. It's just what I used. Thumbs up? I do a thumbs up a lot, but the last one I used was um, the emoji that went that goes. <laughs> <laughs> I do this one all the time. <laughs> you know? I'm always like, it's crazy here. <laughs> okay, the last thing that made you laugh. Uh, you. Oh my god, I'll take it. Laugh. You just made me laugh. You just made me laugh. Oh, That's my god, <laughs> Miriam. I know. Same. <laughs> <laughs> Twins. Um, book you read. Oh, 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 sorry. I get excited about books. <laughs> I'm on the perfect show. show. Yep. 
Um, I just read a book called Asymmetry by Lisa Halliday, and it is her first novel, and it, it is spectacular. It is, it, it was so beautifully written, and I had read a review that said it was a really beautiful first novel, and I was at the airport and I needed a book, and I was like, I, I, I want to see what what this is, and I'm just in awe of, of of creativity in general. But this this woman's ability to write such a beautiful book, I um, I can't say enough about it. I think it's extraordinary. Oh, I'm going to read it. Yes. Yep. Yeah. Chris. Uh, Justine by Lawrence Durrell. Highly recommended. Tell us Absolutely. about it. Absolutely. Tell me about it. You, I don't know that we could talk about it. Oh. It's about sex in Alexandria. We'll be there. But it's not only about it. It's it's like a psychological study of these people living in Alexandria in this time period. And really. Yeah. It's it's really it's interesting. I think it's interesting. I mean, it's it's part of a quartet, and he tells it from different perspectives. Hey. So it's, yeah, I don't know. I, th I think it's interesting. I, I feel like he's like just solidifying his dreamboat status, but like, it, <laughs> yeah, like I, I don't, I don't, I'm not, I'm I don't, I don't want to objectify you. I, I used to be a lunatic. You. Now I'm not trying to objectify you, <laughs> now I'm, Chris, but you know, I think you're wonderful, and now I'm thank you, Mary. like, it's like I'm your mother. <laughs> he's wonderful, and he's available. <laughs> he's a doctor. No, but he's you are a lawyer. Extraordinary. He went to Harvard, <laughs> right? St. <Saint> John. <laughs> um, what was the last show that you binge watched? Uh, Pen15. <laughs> hmm. Don't even, I Th mean. Thong episode? I, I, can't. Pen15 made me laugh and then it made me cry. It, it, I, I can't even, I, those women are extraordinary. Yep, sames. Barry. Oh, that's good. I gotta, you know what, I have to go back to it. I gave it like three episodes. Wow. I gotta go back to The first season? Well, yeah, but I got distracted. Uh, I love younger. that he's playing that guy. <laughs> Yeah, you know? yeah, 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 yeah. Because yeah. if it's a different kind of guy, it doesn't also, matter. Also, if you put Henry Winkler in your show, you're clearly a genius. <laughs> That's true. Henry Winkler is the nicest human being on the planet, he period. He is. Uh, and finally, the last song you listened to. Oh, Hustle by Pink. Yeah, yeah. you love it. I heard you talking I love about it. it. I, I think it's good. And um, Your Pussy is God by King Princess. Well, there you go. Unbelievable. Chris? <laughs> Prowler by Iron Maiden. <laughs> <laughs> Thank it's you true. for participating in the game, guys. <laughs> um, that's it for us. We're out of time. But before I let you go, I just need you both to please give me a one-word teaser for next week's episode. You go first. <laughs> okay. So one word, heart attack. Yeah. Which is two words. I have a problem. I, I have a problem with lexical density. I need to say two. Every episode, right. you use two. Well, <laughs> hashtag heart attack. Then you make that makes it one word. That's fair. And very millennial. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm going to use two words, too. Wait, okay. Wait, you're stealing my thunder. <laughs> False alarm. Oh. Well, that just... I like that. Oh, but there's something else. Just watch next week. Just time. watch. <laughs> it's so good. It's crazy good. Crazy I mean, good. That's crazy still two words. Crazy Damn good. <laughs> Mary and Chris, thank you so much for joining me. Thank you. And thank, thank you for being just so adorable. Yes. Well, you're welcome. Oh, you were talking to him. <laughs> <laughs> Both of you. <laughs> and thank you, younger fans, for watching and sharing your comments. I'm Taylor Strecker, and this is Getting Younger. Join me again right here, right after next week's episode, for more behind-the-scenes stories and insights from this amazing cast. Until then, here's a sneak peek of what's coming up. I've got big news, and I wanted to share it with you first, since I, I am your work wife. Just your work wife, of course, despite the salacious gossip in the bullpen. I'm going to be someone's real wife. I'm engaged to Enso. That's wonderful, Diana. Congratulations. <laughs> Do I have your blessing, Charles? Sure. <laughs> <laughs> it was spontaneous, so there's no ring yet. People won't know unless it's announced. Of course, I can't announce it. That's like lighting your own birthday candles. It's... Would you like me to announce it, Diana? Oh. Charles, you've always been able to read me like a book. Subscribe to Younger Uncovered. The podcast dedicated to all things younger. Thanks for watching. And don't forget to subscribe to the TV Land YouTube channel for more Younger. And leave a comment below. A nice comment.